it's week 135 in the House of Horror. Today I'm going to be reviewing the short film Banjo. This is getting shown in 2012. I know it's got its world premiere um, at an horror festival in Retford in the next few weeks. So if you're around that area, pick a festival, pass up. I think they're only a ten of a piece and go and see this. Um, directed, produced and written by Liam Regan, who's from South Yorkshire, the same as I am. Um, he was executive producer on Evil Bong 3D. Um, Charles Band's film. It was also a cameraman on the Esca Trilogy, um, which is a South Yorkshire made horror film um, zombie anthology. And he's just come back from America after working with Lloyd Kaufman and the trauma team on Return to Class of Nukamai, which is obviously the sequel to the trauma classic. So, yeah, he's, he's doing a really good fine job he's living the dream isn't it and um, producer written but also by dan moxon um the cast liam perrins as peltzer louise stevenson as deets mick crone as drayton sawyer if you don't know that nod to a certain film with that name then you shouldn't even be watching my fucking reviews um and also harmony hex has got a cameo in this she's the adult superstar i think she's from south yorkshire also and um, she plays samantha so, the synopsis on this is, meet Peltzer, an 18-year-old loser in a wheelchair that works for his demanding boss, Drayton Sawyer, at the popular stationery company, Reams for Less. As Peltzer contends daily with paranoia concerning his cheating spouse, he finds that the meek show inherit and the true art of sweet revenge in this twisted tale of romance and adultery. My views on this are, I've watched this three times since receiving the screener a few days back, and I'm really impressed by it. To be honest, when I first heard of it, I just knew the title. And I didn't know what to make of it. Obviously, I thought of a musical instrument. That's the first first thing that cropped into my head. Um, and it isn't a musical instrument. I'm not going to tell you what it is. Uh, you'll have to see it and then you'll know. But it ain't no fucking musical instrument, trust me. Um, don't get me wrong. I, I were impressed by this, but it didn't have it. It, it didn't. It wasn't perfect, um, but I think Liam's done very well with what he's had to work with, considering the micro budget. I don't know how much he actually spent on this, but he didn't spend much on it, and I thought he did a good job considering that. The acting was hit and miss, some better than others, and the standout for me was Mick Crone. I think he did a really good job, um, and the worst one out of the actors and actresses was probably the main actor, Liam Perrins. Um, he looked well as the geeky cripple, but he sent a little wooden at times. Now, I'm not criticising him, but yeah, that's that's my opinions on it. The special effects were good and quite disgusting. Um, I'll not get too much into them because I don't want to release anything that might let you know too much about it without seeing it. I don't want to spoil it for you. Um, this shot really reminded me of Frank Henlotter's films such as Brain Dead, but mainly Bad Biology. You'll understand that when you've watched this shot. If you've already seen Bad Biology, then you'll definitely know why I've mentioned that film. Overall, I definitely would recommend this for fans of the low budget masters Lloyd Kaufman and the named Frank Henlotter. Um, it's very reminiscent of them and you can tell he takes great influence of them guys and respects them as filmmakers. Um, you can tell he's grown up on them sort of films like I did. Um, so yeah, um, I think you'll really enjoy it if if you enjoy them sort of films. The lighting in it was very reminiscent of Hen and Lotta and that's, that's the main thing that I picked up on, the lighting. Um, it was really good, lots of neon colours, lots of greens. I've got a picture, a couple of pictures after this review um, that you can take a look at, so you'll know then. It does seem a really exciting time for horror in South Yorkshire, um, with Damien and Nicola Mortar on the rise. They reviewed Bicycle Day, um, their first film, um, quite a while back now. Um, and they've just made the Esca Trilogy, which I will be reviewing very soon, as soon as I get the screen of Nicola. <laughs> and Liam Regan also on the rise. I think he's he's living the dream, isn't he? He's been to America, worked with Trauma. Um, so, yeah, he's, he's really living the dream, and I respect these guys so much. So I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, and definitely recommend it for people that like Hen and Lotta and Trauma and stuff like that. 
Thanks, guys. I'll see you all next week.